So first of all, we're going to pass this over. First of all, know that your mother's here. And this is so funny because when I'm connecting, this woman is fabulous on the other side when I'm speaking to her in spirit. She shows me that she's all dressed up when I'm speaking to her on the other side. She says, tell my daughter that I look my best. <laughs> and what's also interesting is this. She's also shown me a child that passed as well when I'm connecting with her. Oh, oh wow. Yeah. yeah, my brother. So know that one of the things is, is this, is that when I'm connecting with her, she's saying to me this. She says to me that this was something that was the hardest thing for you all to go through was the loss of your brother and for her as well when I'm connecting. Yeah. This was something that your mom had never recovered from here in this world. So first of all, when I'm speaking to her, right, she <coughs> says to me that she wants to thank you for everything that you did for her before she died. She just shows me about you making her look so beautiful. She says to me, thank you for making me look so beautiful. Thank you for making me look so beautiful. And she's bringing that up. And you know what I don't understand? Oh, shit, this is nasty over here. <coughs> What the hell was wrong with your mother's toes? Did she have a toe issue? No. Uh -uh. Bullshit. She's telling me her nails used to get too long and there was an oh, issue. Yeah. <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah, they did get, get a couple times. I forgot to cut them. Your you know, mother showed me thick toe toenails. And I don't know what she to make of this. Have, yeah, she had pretty thick toenails. I'm going to throw up. <laughs> I got to tell you something. I'm not used to listen. And, fi and thick fingernails too like I, it's, and I didn't get those <laughs> she's got the most thickest fingernails ever they were the best honey I see them I see them Believe, <laughs> don't, you don't have to go any further when I'm connected with the other side you're gonna know that souls will show me the visions of your life and their life and everything that they did and your mother's like wow. going and she's got her toes and she's going like this <laughs> and I'm like honey like I ain't cutting your toenails like and your mother's like I didn't worry about my illness I worried about these these used to give me a problem she's telling me <laughs> So know that your mother says to me that she wants to thank you for taking care of her toes on the other side. She's bringing that through. Because listen, to your loved ones, it's the little things that matter to them and that meant so much. And she's bringing that through. And also at the same time when I'm speaking to her, she just showed me her spraying her perfume bottle when I'm connecting with oh, her. Oh, no. <laughs> so that being said, do you ever smell your mom? Yes. That's her way of letting you know that she's there because she keeps showing me her in spirit and spraying her perfume bottle and saying, Matt, tell my daughter that when she gets that smell, that's me, that's me. Oh, and she's my acknowledging. God. Yeah, the, right after she passed, I went to the mountains with my girlfriend and my husband. And she, and I, and I looked at my friend, and I go, whoa, you know, I smell mom's perfume. And she, you know, she must have been there. So know that it's her way of letting you know that when you got that sign from her, that that was her, that's her way of letting you know she was really there. Because she kept telling me, no, I was really there. I was really there. She goes, and I wanted my daughter to have fun because she tells me about how hard her passing was for you. Yes, it was. What yeah. I have to tell you is this. Your mom wants to thank, thank you for giving up so much of your life to take care of her here in this world. She says, but Matt, my daughter feels so guilty because she couldn't do it alone at the end, she's telling me. So that being said, she talks about be, having to go into like it looks like an assisted living, or there was another. No, um, no, I took care of her till the very end. Wait a minute, she showed me when I'm connecting. She was either in a hospital. I keep seeing a hospital. Well, she bed. was in the hospital towards the end. Hello, pay attention. So know that <laughs> about a month. Reason. She was in the hospital for about a month. Yeah, in a coma, pretty much. I love when people say, you're wrong, you're wrong. You're like that lady in the back. I was no, talking I mean, about Boston. Like when she was a lot, like awake, she was Honey, she was, as long as she's still living, don't talk about her. <laughs> you're right, you're right. Honey, I didn't get a TV show by being wrong. I talked to the dead, they tell me. So, oh no. my God, I can't believe it. <sighs> oh my Does God. she say anything about my, about my brother Greg? Hold on, well, I'm not done oh. yet. <laughs> I hope there's an open bar at this event uh. at the end. <laughs> I got a drink, not after talking to the dead, but after, uh. sometimes after talking to the living. I'm, I'm teasing you. I know it's hard to, to talk like this. But your mom is bringing me back to those last moments of her having to be in the facility because she's bringing this up. Yeah, and hospital, she's, yeah. she says to me when I'm connecting, she says, Matt, this was the hardest thing for my daughter to have to watch. She says, because every day you didn't want to leave her. And she shows me at one point you were laying on a bed next to her or some type of a couch because she shows me about you sitting and watching your mother. She says to me this. She says, Matt, please tell my daughter that I will never forget that. I'll never forget what she did for me. And at the end, she says, tell my daughter that it didn't matter. It didn't matter that I was there. She says, she took care of me as long as she possibly could, and she needs you to know that. So as hard as it was, right, and you're saying, oh, my mom was in a coma, she really wasn't there, your mom was still there. She knows about the way that you would rub her, what you would say to her, all of those things. 
Yeah. So know that your mom wants to thank you for not giving up on her here in this world. She wants to thank you for the way that you loved her. And she does tell me that your brother's there as well. Oh, good. So know that one of the things is that he's <coughs> also here with your mom on the other side, showing that he's also watching over you. But I don't have a direct message from him. It was your mom that had to come through today. And for her to validate that she's there with him shows you that he, she, she's at peace, he's at peace, and they are forever, forever okay in spirit. All right, I'm gonna leave you with that. Oh, thank you. Can you come you. over here and give me a hug? Yeah, yeah. I really hope that this uh, helped you. What did you think you were coming to see Matt Franco tonight? <laughs> he actually is a Rhode Island well, boy I as well. Glittery guy, so I had to wear some diamonds. <laughs> oh, good. Listen, well, listen, you're like me. Italians, we give the best jewelry because we take them off of dead people. No. Ask any Italian that you know. I'm gonna leave you with that. Thank you. And then also at the same time. So wait a minute. So you you hadn't even know you didn't even know who the hell I was. No, I didn't. She really thought she was coming to Matt Franco tonight. I wasn't really a, a strong believer, really. I mean, it's not like I I didn't believe, but I wasn't like, yeah, you know. I was thinking everyone else is gonna get readings. I'm not gonna get a reading, you know. But listen, then, your mother proved you wrong. Yeah, and she was pretty amazing, so I'm not surprised she's. Oh, here. I know. <laughs> Well, listen, thank you for thank coming you. and thank you for being here. Thank you I'm so much. I'm a that. believer now. <laughs> <laughs> That's all that